Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing the last little bit of Season of the Deep Mainline Story Quest. It's week 6. Let's see what all this fuss has been up to. Or all of the, uh... I guess what is... Let's see what all of the story has kind of built up to. We don't. There's not really a bad guy here. We've been mostly just gathering stuff to learn about the Witness. There's not exactly a big bad... I mean, I know Zivu Arath is somewhere in the background, but she's like barely been a part of the story outside of dialogue. I don't know what they can do to this story to make this seem worthwhile other than maybe showing off Zivu Arath in a cutscene? Something? I would like to be able to see her to see someone pose a substantial threat to us, but it is what it is. Uh, for whatever reason, the mainline story is asking us to meet Hawthorne, because Hawthorne supposedly has something for us that has something to do with the story quest. So, yeah, let's check in with the bird lady and see what the hell she wants. Change of plans. Zivu Arath struck while you were returning from the dive. Hive deception slipped through our guard, and Asa was targeted by a hive ritual. Zivu Arath's voice tore through the air like a wall of swords. We think it wounded Asa, but she swam off to try and interrupt the ritual before we could do anything. Zavala and Sloan are tracking her to the ritual site, and I am mobilizing the Iron War Beasts to support them. We need you in the fight, Guardian. I'm sending coordinates to your ghost, but we have no idea what to expect there. Deploy to the ritual site and disrupt the hive. The hunt is on. Oh, it seems like Zivu Arath slipped some forces behind our lines, and they were using a hive ritual to try to, like, capture or kill her. And everyone's being deployed to try to rescue her. Okay. We will try our best. Bar borrow trauma? Um, I, I mean, we're like, we've learned what we needed to learn about the Witness, but like, there's no big bad boss. I mean, I hope Zivu Arath decides to at least show her face. Uh, where is this? Oh, there it is. I was like, for whatever reason, it didn't come up. Uh, we'll use Galahorn, targeted redaction, distant pull, sure. Yeah, I'm just playing around with work weapons that I don't normally play with. I, I liked I put my Hawk Moon away and broke out Ace of Spades, and Ace of Spades was actually really fun to play with in Strikes and in the Crucible. Commander, um, we've picked up Asa's trail deep below Kraken Mar, behind Zivu Arath's battle lines. Understood. The Deputy Commander Saint and I will set up a perimeter to draw the Hive's attention. Then the Guardian can break through unscathed. The Iron War Beasts prepare to support our assault. Say the word. Keep them in reserve until the Guardian has eyes on Asa. Daylight's burning, and she's in pain. I can feel it. I'll find you on the field, Sloane. Hit your marks, and we'll get this done. Move out. Fire team, check in. I've reached my position on the left flank. I've encountered a ritual. I'm setting up on the right. Looks like a smaller ritual site here, too. Pushing toward the commander's position now. My drop pod is deploying to your location, Sloan. Drifter, you're on tack. Well, all right. Taking energy, spiking up ahead of you, hero. That must be Asa. Ah! My arm! Whatever they're doing, it's getting worse. If we're gonna do something about it, now's the time! Guardian, start pushing forward. As soon as Saladin's pod hits ground, we launch our diversion. That's kind of funny. We have all four major Titan players in on the field. Fire team, report! Saint and I hold the left flank! It is working! We draw them off the Guardian. Enemy reinforcements flooding the right flank. We're holding. This line doesn't fall back. Okay, hotshot. It's all you now. Oh, of course. So Saint and Zavala are holding the left and Sloan and... Saladin are holding the right, so like, alright, you go down the middle and just do all the work while we hold off their, the fodder, and I'm like, oh man, really? Alright, I guess it'll be up to me. 
whatever is about to happen, we'll see what's going on. It'd be nice if we saw Zivu Arath. I want to be able to see along, her. Come girl. Guardian's almost there. Dropping a ping to the fire team. Taking fire. Repositioning. I got you. They are overrunning our position. Zavala! Drop pods and focus fire on their ritualists. No one gets past us. Don't hesitate, Guardian. Her She's been lying us. on you. Oh, they're trying to take her? Wait. These rituals. They're trying to take Asa. Oh, the dialogue Keep repeated for some reason. On. I never seen a ritual our walking tank couldn't smash. That's a whole lot of magic. And I bet those wizards are holding the reins. Get in there and start breaking things. Any kind of like Nocris vibes here? <laughs> Every wizard you put in the dirt makes a dent. Plug away, hero. Oh, Asa's right there. Like she's. Asa just got a second wind, Guardian. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. our super just to do this. Four beasts, deploy. You will take that position. Clever warrior of the sky. Hold on, Asa. We're coming! The coward flesh must be taken! Uh oh The shield is really big for some reason. Oh, we do have reinforcements here. Reason that's pretty Last one. Yeah, odd. Long girl should be home free. Excellent work, Guardian. Fire team check in. Down to a sword, but hive and taken forces routed. They will not run far. So many titans. We encircle them like impenetrable walls. <laughs> Clear your zones and fall back to defensive positions around us as she swims back to the arcology. Consider it done. War beasts, you fought well. Extra rations for all. What's Asa's status? I've got an eye on her, and I'm shipping a transmat beacon your way. Hold on to your boots. She seems fine. Although, Zevo Rats, it sounds like we were hurting her as we were disrupting the ritual. That's odd. I didn't realize she also had the power to take at this point. She's down to like the throne cleaver sword. Zivorath's forces are in full retreat. Good. Time to complete the mission. Does she have one final thing for us for her to show us? Our dance will never end. 
I am war. You carry my banner. Cling to me like hope. What are you without me? Sink into my embrace. Drown in the deep. Fight forever. Stand down, deputy. Sometimes the battle is stepping away from the battle. We're with you all the way. The true path lies obscured. But she knows the way. Who? She who hides truth in deception. Oh man. The witch queen must rise. <sighs> oh man, really? We need her? We actually legitimately need her help. Uh, oh. So the way to get through the portal is we actually need Savathun's help. What what good would she do though? She doesn't know how to breach the portal any more than we do. She doesn't have her memories. So how how much help could she really be? I guess she is a powerful witch, I guess. But still, I don't know how she'd help us break the lines and get us through. Same. We're lying on Savathun. This is what it's come to. Tell me you're not serious. I am. Asa has given us a way to follow the witness. This cannot be the only way. We don't have much of a choice. Everyone in this room understands the risks. But we find we have a path forward. We can't wait for another. The Empress won't take kindly to this news. You stand on her council. Convince her. I cannot watch the Witch Queen rise again, Zavala. To scheme against us. To steal another face? No! She won't be given the opportunity. Eris and Ikora will keep the situation under our control. Imaru isn't one to be baited into a trap. Not a trap. A bargain. We're all against the witness. Savathun's ghost has no choice but to cooperate. I'll convey your decision and assurances to the Empress. Commander. Guardians. We tried to control the Witch Queen before. I saw how that ended, Zawala. It is a treacherous path. When she strays, as I know she will, even one claw, my fist will be right behind yours. I hope I am wrong. But right now, I cannot see how. Osiris will hear of this. I imagine he will have words too. We, uh, There's a long uh, night ahead of us. Let's be the beacons others need to follow. At least until we make it through this. Yeah, we can go back to killing each other after this is over. <laughs> we have to get through this first. Uh, I mean, it, the plan was good initially until Mara kind of messed it up with her own agenda. She, she always has her own agenda. Don't bring Mara into this. Leave it to Ikora and Eris. They're all, both on the same page for the most part. And, and Drifter, too. Drifter has knowledge on how to... Con we can contain her. Like, yeah, we need to come to a bargain. We can't threaten or blackmail Imaru, Savathun's ghost, into helping us into resurrecting Savathun. We have to... It, we have to kind of 
let them understand that if we need to all be on the same page. The witness will annihilate us all. Specifically the Traveler, whatever he, pl whatever his plans are, it's probably going to be the end of the Traveler, and without the Traveler, all the ghosts, including the Hive ghosts, will be turned into paperweights, and I'm assuming he doesn't want himself to die, and he'll have to work with all of us to keep the light going, so, yeah. We have, we have Eris, we have Ikora, we have Osiris, and then we have we Mara. We did it, Guardian. Cut a swath through the Taken and got the intel we needed. The mission is complete. I've waited a long time to say those words, and I used to dread the moment that comes after, but not anymore. I thought I needed the mission to draw my focus, to drown out all the noise, all of this. But not focusing on it doesn't mean it isn't there. It's a part of me now. I'll carry it with me wherever I go. And that's okay. I'm strong enough to shoulder that weight. Especially if I don't have to do it alone. Asa's in hibernation now. All that strain on our psychic link has worn her out. Poor girl's earned some time to rest. She won't be alone, either. I'll camp out on Titan and watch over her. Just like she watched over me. That's not to say I'll never return to the tower. When I do, I know there'll be a place for me. And people to welcome me home. Take care, Guardian. And watch your back when you dig up Savathun. If you ever need to punch your lights out, you know where to find me. Yeah. Uh, she reflects on how she used to dread what would come after and how she now realizes that constantly pushing forward doesn't help her move past what she's been through. Sloan informs you that Asa has entered hibernation and she will remain on Titan to watch over Asa for now. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, we have enough for thin, one more thin precipice. And I don't, I don't think this is the last sword we need in order to, uh craft it, right? I think we need, like, one more. Complete the quest into the depths. Complete each weekly quest into the depths. Uh, weekly terminal mission? Okay. Commander. On Titan, I had a moment of weakness. Zivu Arath. At ease, Sloan. You resisted the will of a hive god. An apology isn't necessary. Everything I've done since they took Titan, that was the moment. And I almost faltered. A metal tested leaves an impression. Something Saladin used to recite when we were young. It's more than an impression. I accepted a lot, thinking I wasn't coming back. When we secured Titan before, it was survival. But we had hope, a goal. We won, and it was over. This time... Something's... dragging me back, like... Like that struggle's all there is. That sounds all too familiar. Oh? I... was married once. You're kidding. What was her name, this woman who wooed old man Zavala? Sophia. Together, we raised a son, Hakim. Uh, oh. It was the Dark Age. I was Saladin's charge. Young, reckless, enchanted by. A warm memory now. I've never heard you talk about those days. Is Rimpier's drunken noodle still there, or did we lose it in some catastrophe? It's still standing. Expanded, actually. Let's talk in person. I'll clear the night schedule. Uh-oh. Must be for someone important. An old friend. Well, I don't know what I would have done if Rimpier's blew up while I was gone. Sometimes those noodles held me together. We would have rebuilt it. Brick by brick, if that's what it took. 
Uh, well, it's not like a revelation, it's just them catching up. And, yeah, it's like she like she needs to learn how to move forward, just like Zavala had to during Season of the Haunted. And I guess she, she he really did not tell a lot of people he used to be married with a wife and a kid. Um, well, that's a, that's a sweet ending for the two of them. Again, I'm still kind of bummed out that Lance is gone. Uh, Sloan might actually have a bigger part in the story now, now that most of his dialogue is going to be finished at some point or another. I hope Bungie, again, gives us a warning, letting us know, hey, this season will be the last season we have Lance Frederick's, uh, you know, voice acting for Zavala as his lines have come to the end, and we don't really have any way of re re replicating his voice. Um, I don't know. I would be all for them using AI to kind of keep his voice acting going and just use, uh, you know, AI-generated voice lines for him. Keep keep him as the actor, but just have something continue the, uh, the, uh, I guess his legacy until the game is over. Obviously, they'll have to compensate his family and get the, the permission and the rights to actually use his likeness and his voice in the game, but... If they did that, I would actually would be all for that, just as long as his family is properly compensated. I don't necessarily want Zavala to be sunset out of the game, and I don't necessarily want uh, him to just be recasted. I don't think I think it would be really hard to recast uh, Zavala. I mean, they've done it for the other two Vanguard leads. I mean, we had Nathan Fillion voice in Cade for the first time in forever, and then he got you know, recasted with Nolan North, who played him out in Forsaken after Nathan Fillion didn't want to come back. And, and then he got recasted again, because I guess he's coming back again in the, the final shape. I don't remember the vi Ikora's voice actress, but she's been recasted again as well. That's why Ikora has had more speaking lines ever since uh, Forsaken as well. Um, uh, with that being said, I guess that's the season. Um, I, I kind of always knew... I mean, the story is also, again, kind of all over the place. It's a little bit tighter than it was in uh, Season of Defiance. And it does end with a little bit better of a payoff um, with us learning uh, there is a way to follow the Witness. We kind of learn their backstory and learn what they're about, why they're pursuing the Traveler so much. And we also learned that uh, there is a way to follow them. There is a way. Unfortunately, the person who has the keys or has the knowledge to get to that way is, uh, Sabathin. I always suspected we'd have to resurrect her, uh, and ask her for her assistance when we kept her body, but we couldn't capture or kill her ghost. That leaves her on the table still. And with us having her body, us not having Amaru, her ghost, we need to convince him to resurrect her and for all of us to work together. And we'll need to do this. It'll be a very tentative, very shaky alliance, but mutual annihilation is a pretty strong bargaining chip to force the two factions of the Light Guardians and the Hive Guardians to work together. Uh, she can't really go back to the Witness now, and she, she has as much of reason to want them gone as we do after she tricked her and her family into becoming more or less their slaves. Uh, with Sabathun, we, and that's the thing too, we need raw power to beat the Witness. We, we don't have, it's not a numbers game at this point. It's not a standing army issue. It's a power scaling issue. We don't have enough paracausal power to fight the Witness one-on-one. -on -one. The Traveler tried and unleashed like a full super at the Witness and it kind of just walked through it. It does. I don't know if that was it trying to take him out itself, but it, whatever it was, it wasn't enough. And if whatever the Traveler is, we need even more. And where are the biggest sources of paracausal power in the system? The Veil, sure, but we're still trying to learn what we can about it and trying to bend it to our will. It's still a mystery for the time being, and I think it will be until, you know, the final shape. Besides the Veil, we have the rest of the Guardians, who still have their light. We're all paracausal entities, too. We have Mara and Eris, who are powerful witches, who can help us fight. Uh, we have the Nine, but they've been out and about in the background for a while. I don't know if they're ever going to show up again. According to the Drifter this season, he seems to think that the Nine have just led them to this point, and that may or may not be all the help they're going to provide us. At this point, it's it's all in our, in our hands now to do it ourselves. Um... <laughs> We have the equine horse and Zer from uh, Dares of Eternity, but I think that's just more of a funny Easter egg. The, the, 
the intergalactic horse can't really help us. I think that's not exactly part of the story, so there's that's also off the table. Uh, what other sources of super paracalls of power we have? We have the Crown of Sorrow. Technically, we could try to use that to help us and bend that to our will as well. It is a very dangerous hive artifact that also has a huge amount of paracausal power stored in it somewhere in the form of darkness energy, so there's that. Uh, we have the Guardians who wield Stasis and Strand, uh, we being one of them, so that's another kind of edge we have on our system. But again, it's all that stacked together along with the Traveler might not still be enough to fight the Witness. So what where, What else? What other source of paracausal power do we have at our disposal? Well, we have actually, like, three, technically. Uh, the one of them is Savathun, obviously. We have to bring her back from life, make a deal with her, and have her on our side to fight the Witness, which she might be all for. Um, that, obviously, is option A, or, you know, part one. Uh, part two, weirdly enough, I'm going to spoil the season of the deep, uh, Ghost of the Deep Dungeon here, but, uh, I have to because I have to talk about it. We do have Oryx as well. Oryx is not technically as dead as we would want him to be. Uh, the end of the season of the Deep Dungeon, or the Ghost of the Deep Dungeon shows his giant dead body still growing, still retaining power, still retaining memory, and they tried to resurrect Oryx and make him also a Hive Guardian to take over since Savathun was dead. So, uh, he's not as dead as we think he is, and something tells me Savathun can probably resurrect him herself, and not necessarily make him a Hive Guardian, but just bring him back to life without the influence of the Worm. And if we had him on our side too, once he also learns that his entire religion and his entire reason for being was a giant lie, and also that he was tricked into being the Witness's slave, he might also be down for helping us, especially if it means being reunited with his family in the form of Savathun. They might have beef initially when sh when he finds out that she, you know, turned from the darkness and embraced the light, but I think that would be a good place to start in trying to get him on our side too. And the third and final person who could probably help us actually would be uh, Zivu Arath. During the dungeon as well, we learn a lot about Zivu Arath and we find out that uh, she really misses Oryx. She misses her family, and she she hates that he was killed, and that nobody took his place to you know take up the mantle of the of the throne of the king of the hive. And it's just been a downward spiral for their species ever since. And there's there's not she doesn't she's only fighting with the witness like out of spite. She just wants to hurt us for hurting her and hurting her family as much as we have. I don't know if she's fully aware of the fact that she was made a slave by them, being tricked into embrace the, the worm gods. Um, I doubt she has been, because I think if she was told outright that she was tricked and that she is a flat-out slave in comparison to the Witnesses, uh, Witnesses' plans, she would might turn on them as well. Only her, only her rage is keeping us at bay for the time being. I don't think she knows exactly what the Witness's plans are for her. I'm sure she was given some final order to mess with and disrupt the Guardian, us, our operations until his return comes back through the portal. So once we have Savathun and Oryx on our side, the two of them might be able to convince Zivu of Wrath to help us fight the Witness. And with the three of Hive, Hive Gods on our side, with you know, all of the other allies we have, we all might have a good shot to fight against the Witness. We might have a shot. Uh, as far as I know, the Witness doesn't have any other disciples left over, so it would literally just be a 1v whatever against the Witness. And I think that's where this is ultimately going to go in the final shape, where we have all three Hive Gods come back to life. They all unite against the Witness after the Witness is dead and gone. It'll be business as usual. We'll all take our leave, and then we can all kill each other on a different day. Well, we might just slug it out right then and there, <laughs> right as we know for sure the, the witness is gone. Uh, but that's where I ultimately think the, the final shape is going. It would be really... They've set up way too much stuff to not bring all three of them back and have them united against the witness. It, I think it would be a really funny uh, twist of fate for the witness to trick the three of them into creating his standing army as of the Hive and for the three Hive Gods to turn around and strike back against him. I, th I think that would be a really good twist of fate for, for him, that his downfall came from the people he tricked into serving him. And uh, again, I think they are the only major sources of paracausal power we have left in the system. 
I firmly believe that they, we will ultimately side with the three of them. It'll be a very tentative, very, you know, stressed alliance, but I think in the end, we, all of us will have to be under the, under the same impression, under the same sort of page of knowing that, hey, if we don't all work together to beat the Witness, the Witness will annihilate the universe, and it will be game over for everybody. And I'm sure the Hive Gods don't want that to happen either. They want to continue the, whatever it is, their own plans, and they have their own ambitions for the, for their empires. So, yeah. Uh, but at this point, guys, I think that's going to be it for the season. Uh, we'll obviously record and make more videos on Destiny when, you know, any more story beats come out. There usually is, like, a final end-of-the-season recap or end-of-the-season mission that usually happens during Week 10 or Week 11. Uh, we'll probably make another video on that if they do something like that, whether it's a cutscene or another mission or some sort of prelude to the not the following season. Um, I'll try to do some other videos for Destiny if I can, if I find the time. Uh, trials has been a, a mess. I haven't really done a lot of Trials videos. Uh, multiplayer for this game is kind of like... My multi my multiplayer ambitions for this game um, are still there, but I can kind of feel my enthusiasm slipping with this game for every bug bug patch and server downtime that this game has. The game feels like it's barely working even more so this season than ever. There's instability issues, there's extended downtimes, the game doesn't seem to be getting as many quality of life changes as people would hope they would be. People are starting to accuse Bungie of basically abandoning this game and just focusing on, on matter, or I guess at this point Marathon. They're really... In, a lot of YouTubers are also putting out videos right now similar to what Astacross put out the other day of, you know, them, you know, prioritizing monetization and quality of life changes. If it doesn't prove financially suitable for them, they don't bother with it. The, the community right now is feeling really abandoned. The storytelling is great. The gameplay and, you know, build crafting and all that other stuff is just feels super lackluster. And it just feels like we're kind of just waiting for them to slowly even more it's like not even a it's not even a content drought it's just the quality of the content coming out is just not worth what they're asking for as far as monetary wise uh we give bungie you know hundreds of dollars a year per player to play this game and this game like barely feels like it's worth our time now and other games like diablo are starting to slowly pull our focus away from this game even for me my multiplayer fix and my PvP fix is actually not even coming from, from Destiny anymore. It's starting to come from Call of Duty again. I might even do some Call of Duty vids just to do that for some fun uh, change of pace. I haven't done a Call of Duty vid in a very long time, and I think I'd be kind of interested in doing another one. Let me know down below if you guys think, if you guys want to see some more Call of Duty. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have watched up until now and you've liked what you've seen, be sure to hit a like button, leave a comment. Let me know if you think my prediction on the three gods working together with us to fight the witness is going to be a sound prediction does that seem like where the storytelling is going or is there something deeper in the lore books where it's going to be not that i think it will be that but you know i might be wrong and uh be sure to hit the sub button if you guys want to keep seeing more content let me know that you guys are enjoying the gameplay and you're enjoying my commentary and that you actually enjoy my uh, fan theories on this and uh yeah guys and uh until next time